fishing here and uh, he paddled Jerry and sent him home for even being on the dam. So he's well, the only two boys in addition to the boy that fell in. That uh, on the these, there are two twins here with him. This Marcus Wheeler and Mark Wheeler, 2159. And they're both twins. They stayed on the bank. They're smaller than the other boy. From 6 p.m. until 2 a.m., we had gained about an entrance of 1,000 feet, and then there was a stalemate until about 2 a.m. The water starts falling. And from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., we gained about 1,200 feet more. And uh, from 7 a.m. to uh, 9 a.m., we gained another 300 feet. At this, that makes a total of about 2,500 feet. At this time, uh, the Indiana State Police scuba divers are in. They're working. They have an airspace of about four inches at this time, and they're hoping to gain a larger entrance. How do they hope to gain it, sir? I mean, that's beef. I mean, that's our, our hopes that we will gain another entrance. How about the snorkels? Are they going to help? They're using them now at this time. Uh, we have pumps coming, but I don't believe pumps will help us much because this water probably all drains into uh, Lost River. So our hopes is that we might run into a bigger room. As of now, about how far are they in? 2,500 feet. Have you they found any caverns? <laughs> are you still in a passageway kind of? The ceiling is smooth at this time. Is there any evidence of the Lost River backing up? Not at this time, no. Is there any estimate as to how far they may have to go uh, before they reach any cavern? This is not known at this time. We don't know. Uh, I think we're back about as far as some of the people have gone into, but there is some people that have gone, have been in this place for three hours. <laughs> Back there. Well, it's the water coming up against the roof. You have no uh, way to get on back without taking the scuba gear back through. That's you mean the dive, the uh, oxygen tanks, and that paraphernalia. Right. Okay. Yeah. So how, how far do you suppose that you have to go back to there with on oxygen? Well, uh, no comment on that. I don't know. Do you have any idea how far you were back? Well. I have no idea. Are you sending for the oxygen gear now, the scuba gear? Well, we have scuba gear here, but uh, it's... Are you going to take a rest right now and before you go back in again? Or? Well, that's, that's, that's for the sergeant here. Do you find any evidence of the man? Clothing or anything? 
Well, you don't have to check this man right here. Right? No evidence has been found. Nothing at all. No. Well, you're pretty optimistic you can get through there. Well, that's questionable. Did you run into any passageways where it was difficult to go as far back as you have already gone? Well, no. No passageways, only just drains, drains, ditches and all. That's all we have. Did you find some areas in there that were pretty high as far as the ceiling of a passageway? No, it was mainly the same all the way through. What, what is the same? About how high would you say? All about... Are you still blocked by debris of any kind? No, we don't have any debris back there now. It's just, just high water. High water. Things like that. Do you have any idea from the point where you were how long it took you to get back out to the entrance? I don't know. We're uh, forty-five minutes. Well, now, when they said it dropped a foot in the hand. Forty-five minutes. Well, is it down there? Like, 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 the no, I'd say it is. Uh, uh, I mean, the water of course, always runs down here. It's going that way. Yeah. Is the water in there now? Is it still running fairly swiftly, or no? no. shock when you hit the water? No, there's no shock when you hit the water. No, not nearly as bad as going off a two meter board when you're diving. Are there any precautions you should take when you hit the water? Make sure that the regulator doesn't strike the back of your head and hold your mask in position so that the shock doesn't take it away. Hmm. How deep were you down there? About 22 feet. <laughs> and noticeable pressure at that depth? Oh, you usually notice the pressure change at about 10 and 8 to 10 feet. Just clear your ears and go on down. Okay, dude. Thank you.
fact you've just been down there to see the car, was there any evidence that anyone was in it? No one inside the car. I checked all the way inside. Were the doors closed? The doors were closed. However, I was able to get the left door open. Did you find any evidence that perhaps it was a stolen car, maybe glass broken or something? The left front vent glass was open, was broken open. What year car was it, would you say? It looked like a 59 Buick. How deep is the water out there, would you say? Oh, not over 8 to 9 feet. Thanks, Pat. We're here on the Wabash River just outside of Covington where searchers for the car that went over the bridge not long ago think they have spotted the car and have anchored to it. State Trooper Skin Divers, uh, Sergeant Cooper's in the water here, has just come up. Sergeant, what did you find under there? It's just a hard pack trick, pack sand bottom. It, uh, there's some debris down there, but just as soon as you get on this side of the debris, well, there's nothing but just logs and everything down there. I don't know what was. Now, the men with the mine detectors thought they had found something. Is that they said they had a reading of 0.9 or something. I don't know what that means. It's supposed to have been rather high, but I can't find nothing down there that would make it read that. Objects other than a car might make it uh, read that, right? I would imagine it. You feel then it's useless to continue in this spot right here? I, I think it's useless right here in this particular spot. Alright. And the search is temporarily halted here. The divers are going back up to the bridge to get warm. The search will continue as there still are several boats here in the Wabash River who will keep dragging in an attempt to find this automobile that disappeared mysteriously and perhaps its occupant uh, that are downriver here in the muddy Wabash.